wait for it. Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at D by the great Randy Rhodes. Now he considers this his signature piece, so we got to do it upright. So I'm going to slowly take you through. It's just a short little 45 second piece, but it's, uh, it's quite nice. So we're going to start here with a G major um, kind of chord figure. So what you want to do is you want to put your pinky on the 10th fret on the A string and you're going to bar your 7th fret across the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd strings. And you're going to pick the low 5th string with your, um, your thumb, then pick the 3rd string with your index finger, then pick the 2nd string with your middle finger, and when you pick that, hammer on to the 8th fret. And then you're going to come over and hit the 7th fret on the high E string. Now when you hit that first note on the A string, you're also going to hit the high E string at the same time. So you're going to have this. And then that little phrase we just went through. Then come back and grab this chord. He has the a on the top string, the high E string, then the second string is open, and then the unison of that note at the fourth fret on the third string, and then the D string open. So we have all four of those strings together. Try to watch the video, see the picking hand here. I've just got the thumb, index, middle, and ring finger playing all those. And then we do a harmonic at the seventh fret across all four strings. So far, all right. Now we start the kind of uh, faster picking figures. The first one is this. That is just a bar across the seventh fret on the first three strings, and your third finger at the ninth fret on the D string. You're gonna pick the two outside strings. Then you get to pick the. G string, B string, back to the G. Then up to the high A, the high E string, I'm sorry, and then back down to the B string. I like to assign a finger for each string, so it's just a thumb on the D string here, and the, the treble strings are the index, middle, and the ring finger respectively. So we have Okay, and then we're gonna go to the next figure, which is gonna just be lower your pinky at the tenth fret, and then the eighth fret on the with the second finger at the um, on the B string, and then do the exact same picking figure we did on the previous chord. Then you're gonna pick the D string that uh, at the ninth fret and slide it up to eleventh. So we have. And we're gonna play the ninth fret on the G, followed by the tenth fret on the B. Try to hold that third finger down, and you're gonna play the pinky at the twelfth fret on the high E string. Slide it down to the eleventh fret and back up to the twelfth. And you can play that eleven again if you want, like that, or just go try to let it ring. It's kind of a little bit of difficult to keep that there. Then we come back to the that we did earlier. We started the song with, so you know that already. Then it goes to the ninth fret on the A, 10th fret on the B. Then this phrase. So that's going to be, so after this, we have 7 on the A, 8 on the B. Then you're going to pick 6 on the G and that 8 on the B again. Then you play 5 on the A, 7 on the B. Then 4 on the A, 5 on the B. 2 on the A, 3 on the B. Then come down with your, your second finger, the third fret on the low E string, and hit the high 
open high E string, open with it. Then you're going to play the open B and the open E. Alright, then we're going to come to this open A string with your thumb. And when you hit that, you also hit the B string at the 5th fret. And you pull off to the 3rd fret with your to the 2nd finger. Then pick the 2nd fret. Then back to the 3. See, I'm letting that A ring underneath it. Then you pick the two notes together, the D on the 4th fret and the um, third fret on the B string. Then you're going to pick, so I'm, I usually pick that with my uh, thumb and then the middle finger. Then you add the A on the G string. Pick it with your middle, then your, then your index finger. Then play the B string and then back to the G. We got this whole chord now. Then go up and hit the open high E string then back down to the B. That's all while just holding that one chord shape. We have a quick little trill here. More of an ornamentation kind of thing. We have, that's just gonna be a pick on the um, high E string, second fret, hammer on the third fret, pull back off to two, then open string. So a bunch of hammers and pulls. And now when you pull off to that open string, Use it as an opportunity to jump back to this chord shape. This is going to be your... Um, so that open string gives you the ability to shift. We have the fourth string at the first fret, the third finger at the second fret on the G string, and then the ring finger, I'm sorry, the pinky at the second fret on the um, high E string. The second string is hit open. Hit those two outside strings, the D and the high E. Then you're just gonna pick across third string, second, high E, down to the B, and then add the low B note there on the um, second fret on the A string with your thumb. We have a quick pull off from the two to the zero on the that the two that you're holding on the G string. Okay, then we have this figure. That's all on the outside strings, the two E strings. We're gonna have the third fret on the uh, low G string with the open high E string. Then second fret for both. I use my second and ring fingers to play this. Then back up to the three on the high E string and the open low E. It's very Baroque. Okay, and then we have, add your first finger here on the E, on the, the second fret on the D string. And then you're gonna pick the D, you're gonna pick the D string, then the G, then the B, back to the G, then back to the D string. Then you're gonna come up and play this pull off from, I usually I put my first finger here at the second fret, you still have your third finger there from the previous chord. You're gonna pull off three to two on the open string. And then you're gonna come, I grab the, the fourth fret on the low E string. And then I pick the, the second fret on the high E and pull off to the open string. Then play the keeping this low note ringing. You could play the third fret on the B string, then back to the open high E string. Then the A string open with the second fret on the B. Then the open G string, and then third fret on the B string. And then just do the harmonics there. The twelfth fret across the first, second, third, and fourth strings. All right, and then we have this. 
So that's going to be... You can use your third finger here if you wish, but I used to use my first and um, fourth finger. So you're going to hammer from two to four on the G, pull back off to two, and open, and then to the open string. And then we're going to do four to zero pull off on the D string. And then the same thing on the fifth string. So the, th the third string is a four note grouping. Then threes after that. Then we hit the open D string. And you're going to let this ring while we do these inner... Uh... Okay, so we have this. And then with your, your index and middle fingers, you're going to play the top two strings. And you have the second fret on the high E uh, and the third fret on the B. And then up to th three on the high E and five on the B. Then do a hammer on pull, hammer pull from five to seven back to five on the high E. All while the D strings ring it. Come back and grab two on the five and the three on the B. So you play that chord, is the just hitting the, the fifth string and the second string together, and then then hit the G string, open the second string, still got the third um, the D there on it, and then the open E string. Try to make it so these melody notes are always coming out and letting these notes ring together. Then we go back to the open D. Then we go that same figure, the two and the three, the three and the five. This time we're going to make it all the way up to five on the high E, seven on the B, and then do that hammer pull at the seven and nine this time. Then the open A string with the second fret on the B string. That's the, and then the open G string, and then the third fret on the B. Well, that's all ringing. All right, then we're gonna do this little figure. Okay, so that's gonna be the open D string ringing. Pull off five to three in the high E, then three to two. and then two to zero. Then after that, it's playing the four on the uh, A string, pulling four, the two to zero on the, the, the open string on the high fret, uh, high E string. Then play three on the B, back to the high E, open. And then play the same note, but over on the fifth fret on the B string. Come down to the D, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the B note on the A string, the second fret, and oh, along with the uh, third fret on the B. Then you hit the high E, open. Then you're going to pull off on the B string, still letting this B ring underneath everything, you're going to pull off on the B string 2 to 0. So we have. Then you're going to come back with this 3 on the B string and slide up the 5th fret. Then you can have the open A string and the 2nd fret on the B. Then that open G again. And then the B uh, string 3rd fret. So we have... Uh, uh, and we're going to end it with this. So we have the, the I'm playing this with just all my fingers in order. The pinky on the third fret on the B string, the third finger at the second fret on the G string, the uh, second finger, the middle finger at the second fret on the um, A string, and then the first finger at the second fret on the um, low E string. So I'm going to pick the low E and the B string together, and then pick the G string, and then the D string with my thumb and then the A string of my thumb. It gets kind of quieter as it goes down. I'm doing both of those wound strings with the thumb to decrease the, the nail 
um, noise. And then we have this section right here, which and just as long as there's a lot of places in this thing in the actual recording where he's actually um, doing two, it's a two guitar recording. Um, and there's a little bit of harmony stuff going on. So we don't do all of that obviously in just a complete solo guitar arrangement. What I did here was the two notes that usually in the original recording they're pulled off. It'd, they have that kind of thing going on. And then, the, then there's a top line that's pulling off there too. Uh, what I'm doing is going to pick them both so we can play them both. So we're going to have to do the harmony. We're going to have the pinky and the third finger at the pinky at the eighth fret on the B and the, and the third finger at the seventh fret on the high E. And you're going to play the low E string with it. Let it ring and then play five on the high E, seven on the B. While you still let that low E ring. Then we're going to come across and play the C sharp at the fourth fret on the A string while you're playing that 5-7 with your second finger and your, four, your pinky. Then shift that back two frets, just those two top strings, and pick those again. And then you're going to end the tune with the harmonics at the seventh fret across the four strings. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy playing this tune. It's a really cool piece. Uh, it's only about 45 seconds long, but it's a uh, has a lot of uh, interesting little parts in it, and a little bit of it can be a little bit of a challenge, but um, I think you guys will get it down pretty good. All right, so please let me know what other requests you'll have at Guitar Lessons 365. I look forward to hearing from you. All right, I'll see you later. Bye bye.